We recently went to Italy in Las Vegas, and in this video, we're gonna tell you about a few of the favorite things that we tried there. If you've never been before, Italy is an Italian food court that's located in the Park MGM on the Las Vegas Strip. Now, when you hear food court, you might think really crappy mall food, but in reality, everything at Italy, it's high-end Italian food, it's top-notch quality, take my word for it, it's amazing. One thing that Italy is famous for is their house-made mozzarella. They make it fresh every single morning and it is to die for. It's the best mozzarella that I've ever had. I got it from the cheesemonger. You can't technically buy just the mozzarella cheese, you usually get it in addition to something else, but I went up to the stand and asked if they would make an exception and he did. It was served on a really pretty wooden board. The mozzarella itself was beautiful. They topped it with olive oil and sea salt, which really accentuated the flavors. I really, really liked it. The first thing that I noticed when we got to Italy was the long line outside the pizza booth. And being a huge fan of pizza, I decided I needed to try that. Ultimately tried three types of pizza. Uh, the first one had a spicy salami, house-made mozzarella, and a hot honey sauce. Actually, I was worried it was gonna be a little too spicy, but it wasn't. It was very good. Just a hint of spice and also that sweetness from the honey. It was amazing. The second piece we had was a sweet pork sausage, bell peppers, onion, and crushed chili flakes. That actually had a little bit of heat to it, but also just a very good hearty pizza. And the last pizza, was, pizza we had was just their basic pizza, mozzarella, tomato sauce, and fresh basil. Tremendous, tremendous pizza. The portions were large and the price wasn't too bad in comparison to many of the other items they had there. The star of the pizza is the crust. It was so good. Nice crunchy exterior with a nice soft uh, uh, interior. It complements the sauce and the topping so well. The process they do is actually really cool. I watched them actually make some of the dough for the previous day. They make it all fresh there every day. Um, it is 100% organic wheat from it Italy. The dough rises for 12 hours before they even bake it, and you can really taste the quality in the crust. My favorite stand was the house-made pasta. We stood there for a while and enjoyed just watching them make the pasta. There were so many different options, it was hard to pick just one, so we decided to try a few different ones. The first one that I tried was the house-made ribbon pasta with mixed mushroom ragu. The pasta was probably thicker than any pasta I've ever had before. Um, it was it was still really good. If you do not care for mushrooms though, this dish probably isn't for you because there were so many mushrooms in it. I love mushrooms though, so it was right up my alley. The second one that I tried was pork and veal filled pasta with house-made truffle butter. This one was hands down my favorite probably close to my very favorite pasta I've ever had. The truffle butter sauce, I, I just, I can't even describe it enough. It was amazing. And if you go, you seriously must try this dish. It's outstanding. The pasta that I tried was a roasted butternut squash ravioli. It was topped with an amazing brown butter sauce and it had some sage in there too. It was so good, probably one of the best pastas that I've ever had before. As far as the quantity, there wasn't a ton of pasta in the bowl. I would say maybe like 10 to 12 raviolis. Because we were trying so many other things, I was fine with the fact that there wasn't a ton of it, but if that was the only thing that I was getting there, I might have been disappointed with the quantity, especially since it was a little over $30 for that bowl, but it was definitely worth it. One thing that I will say about the pasta is they definitely cook it al dente. So if you would like it cooked a little bit longer, then just ask them. They were very accommodating with this. There weren't very many options for me at Italy because I'm gluten free. The butcher stand had a chicken kebab that I was able to eat. It had grilled chicken, bell peppers, onions, and then some uh, Parmesan cheese seasoning and other seasonings on there. Uh, it was cooked very well. Uh, the chicken still had moisture to it, so it wasn't dry like a lot of kebabs that you eat. Overall, I would get the chicken kebab again. It was delicious. There's not, like I said, not a lot of options for gluten-free there. The butcher stand also had some other gluten-free options. They had steaks, pork chops, etc. cetera. Um, so plenty of options there, just not pasta or breads. There was another stand that was only Italian street food. They had a ton of different options. They had sandwiches, fried foods, a ton of different sides. 
I only tried two things. The first thing that I tried was fried vegetables. There were four different kinds. It was eggplant, squash, zucchini, and red peppers. Honestly, I did not think that I was gonna like the red peppers and those quite possibly were my favorite. Everything was extremely crispy. It was really light and airy. Nothing was too dense. The vegetables themselves were the perfect texture. They were not hard or chewy at all. It was amazing. I also tried the roasted potatoes with rosemary. They were really good as well. The seasoning on them was excellent but we had so many other things to try that they weren't top of the list. There was also a bread stand and I was very excited about that, but sad to see that it's not opened every single day. Thankfully, they still had a small amount of bread. We chose a French baguette and it tasted just like it did when we were in Paris and it was so good and took me back to being in France, which was something that was very pleasant for me. The dessert that I liked best was the gelato. It was true Italian gelato. I tried the sweet condensed milk gelato, the dark chocolate gelato, and the vanilla. My favorite was the dark chocolate gelato. It was very smooth, creamy, had a rich flavor to it. Uh, the sweet and condensed milk wasn't really one that I liked. Uh, some of the others liked it though. The vanilla was good. It had a good vanilla bean flavor to it as well. Uh, first time trying Italian gelato and it's something I will definitely try again. For dessert, I tried the tiramisu cannoli. To be honest, I wasn't a big fan. It didn't really taste like tiramisu at all. It just tasted like a normal cannoli. Uh, I probably would not get that again. If you like cannoli, you might like it, but then just get the normal original flavor and you'll probably be fine. Just not a big fan of the tiramisu. The next dessert I had was the actual tiramisu. And let me tell you, that was amazing. I'm a big fan of tiramisu. And so I had high hopes at Italy because everything is so originally Italian and it did not disappoint. It had a tremendous flavor, tremendous layering. It was absolutely delicious and probably my favorite thing at Italy. It was a large portion. It was a little pricey. I, I paid for the uh, bigger portion. They had three different sizes, a $36 option, an $18 option, and an $8 option. I went with 18 because I wanted more than the $8 option and I figured for the extra $10, it was well worth it and it was. I'm glad I got the bigger option. It was well worth the price. The dessert that I liked the least was surprisingly the Italian donut. I really love donuts, so I was a little bit sad that the donut itself was pretty bland and it was also dry. My favorite dessert was definitely the cream puff with Chantilly cream. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. The cream was this amazing combination of like um, a vanilla custard and a whipped cream. Oh, it was like a perfect blend of both of those and it was so good. Overall, Italy is amazing. There are plenty of different options for multiple people. You could go there by yourself. You could go there with a large group. Everyone's going to find something that they will love. It is delicious. Highly recommended. The atmosphere was pleasant. It was bright. We never had trouble finding seating. And one of the positive things about that particular resort is that it is actually smoke free, which is a nice break when you're in Vegas. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more travel and food videos.